Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. This is a project video and in this video we will talk about or will demonstrate uh, the working of our embedded project uh, number 3 which is password based door uh, security system or password based door opening or closing system uh, using Arduino Omega. Uh, we also provide online training, online coaching classes, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on embedded system, machine learning, data science, Python, MATLAB, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can contact us at through our website, uh, which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. Okay. So let's talk about our project. So uh, this is a project uh, like password protected uh, security system oh, and uh, if, if we want to be specific so password protected door opening or closing system if you want to uh, know exactly how to build in or a step by step procedure for doing the programming and hardware making then uh, the complete video link is given below uh, or given below in the description of this video. Uh, in this video, we will uh, demonstrate only. And so, uh, like uh, in this work, uh, we have taken uh, Arduino Omega. In this work, we have taken Arduino Omega and uh, we have used a keypad. And, and then LCD and a servo motor. So this uh, keypad and this L LCD, uh, this LCD is used for the uh, data display. Okay, it is used for data display, or we can say message display. Right, and the keypad is used to enter the password or to enter information. To enter password and uh, door opening and closing is done by with the help of this servo motor. Door opening or closing. Okay, and. So all the programming is done on this Arduino Omega, right? So uh, let's uh, first of all we will demonstrate to you how uh, we have built uh, this uh, simulation work uh, for the same project in Protus. So if you are new, like how to simulate this Arduino uh, hardware in Protus, then again we have also created a video, and you can go through that video uh, with the uh, its link of the the link of that video is given below the uh, or given in the description of this video right so in just uh, in this uh, we want to demonstrate the programming part which we have made uh, for it uh, or for you so let's uh, run it okay. as soon as you run it it will start enter it will say enter password and whatever uh, key you will press that particular data will be transmitted over the serial port so that you can visualize it what data is being transmitted over what data is being pressed so this can be used for the debugging purpose as well so let's put here here we have a servo motor and here we have a keypad so let's press one two three four yeah one more thing just for the simulation purpose because the hardware keypad and hardware keypad uh, numbering are 1 2 3 a 4 5 6 b uh, 7 8 9 c and then asterisk sign 0 hash symbol and then d so we have mapped in our programming we mapped uh, the hardware keypad in that form so whenever we press 7 it will display one okay so don't get confused with that because it is all about the how we are uh, mapping the hardware, uh, hardware keypad in the programming part. Okay, so let's click on it. Let's one, two, three, and then four, and the same has been transferred over serial port, and then press D. So D acts as enter. So as soon as press D, the servo motor will start 90 degree that it uh, says like it has been opened, gate has been opened up. 
it says password matched password matched and if we want to reset the system uh, we can press C okay so again door has closed it again rotated to zero degree right and let's press some wrong password right and uh, if we press enter it will say wrong password and door will not open up and then we can reset the system by pressing C let's try to enter one two three four and then enter we have password matched door open let's clear it if we press D directly again it will say wrong password wrong password wrong password and we can press C to uh, reset the system okay so this is the basic programming which we have made that's one more time and uh, okay first press C and now let's end one two three and then four and then enter okay. one two three and then four and then enter yep so this is how uh, the demonstration of uh, the project on this uh, simulation work uh, protest now let's have a look uh, on the hardware part uh, the hardware which we have created and let's see how this uh, or let's demonstrate the working of this project uh, hi so this is our project password based door lock system or you can say the door opening system uh, in this we have several components so this is our keyboard this is servo motor which is acting as a gate and then this is a arduino mega and these connections are done as per shown in the uh, circuit diagram we just discussed about it okay so let's test the project okay so it is asking for enter password let's enter the password one two three and then four and then let's press enter press d okay. password match and it is saying press c to reset okay so this uh, servo motor has opened up now let's press c it will close down okay so again let's try to enter the, the wrong password let's say four five six so it is a wrong password and let's press enter so yeah it will not enter and you will get a message like uh, it is a wrong password so press c to reset okay so let's press c again yep it is enter password so one two three four so let's press enter again it's open up so it's working fine so this is a project which you can uh, build at your end or for the same you can also contact us at gcbro okay so you have seen the demonstration on the hardware as well so if you have uh, if you want uh, this project uh, to be done by yourself then we have also created a video which uh, gives the step by step instruction for the programming and for hardware making so and the link for that video is given in the description part of this video and if you want to purchase this hardware or you want the soft uh, soft copy of the code or anything or complete build in project then you can also contact us at through our website okay so finally we also provide we also do we also provide online training online coaching classes we also do freelance projects and help in technical assignments we also do freelance project based on machine learning data science embedded system python etc so if you have any such requirement or you have some other project to do then you can contact us at uh, through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us your queries at jcbrolabs at gmail.com so that's it for this video Thank you.